Let's attempt below questions. How secondary injection is prevented by fuel pump delivery valve? The delivery valve, sometimes called discharge valve below the valve face, there is a piston when pressure is created in the pump above the plunger, by the closing of the spill ports, the valve must be raised far enough off its seat, for the piston to clear the bore at the end of injection, when pressure in the pump chamber is relieved by the opening of the control port. The valve drops down on its seat assisted by spring pressure. The volume of fuel equal to the displacement volume of the valve is added to the line and nozzle, reducing this pressure and allowing the injector valve to snap shut without the cushioning effect of pressure retained in the line and nozzle. This is commonly called line retraction, which lessens the possibility of secondary injection or after dribble at the injector. It is accomplished by an anti-dribble piston, located at the upper end of the valve stem, just below the seat. Why diesel engine crankcase ventilation system is provided? Inside the crankcase, the oil is getting spread all around due to the moving parts of the engine at the same time. This oil is coming in contact with the hot surfaces thus causing evaporation of oil. If this evaporated oil is allowed to condense, it forms oil mist. This oil mist is a potential hazard for the crankcase explosion. If there is any spark present due to the blowpist or running of any hot part, crankcase explosion will take place. In order to avoid such occurrence, Crankcase is fitted with ventilation so as to remove the combustible gases which are formed. For further knowledge, there are two types of ventilation systems. First one is injective system, in which vapor in the crankcase returns to the combustion process. The other one is non-injective system, in which the vapor in the crankcase vents to the atmosphere. Explain why a warning notice of caution displayed against the opening of a hot crankcase for a specified period of time after engine shutdown. On most of the modern engines, the crankcase doors has been put up with a warning notice as not to open before particular time has lapsed. The crankcase is full of oil spray. This oil spray will be spread over the hot surfaces of the crankcase, and will get evaporated into oil mist. This oil mist, when comes in contact with the hot spots, causes the explosion. Most of the times these crankcase explosions do not occur, as the atmosphere in there is too rich to cause an explosion. Suppose the crankcase is hot due to some reason, an oil mist has been already formed. Under such circumstances, if the crankcase door is open before allowing sufficient amount of cooling, there will be ingress of fresh air. This will try to dilute the crankcase atmosphere, and bring it into explosive range and an explosion might occur. Thus it is necessary to wait for specified amount of time before opening a crankcase door. What is determined by the valve cam slope angle? As steeper the slope angle of the valve, more abrupt is the opening and closing of the valve. At the same time, this gives a lot of stresses on the operating mechanism of the cams, the rollers and the push rods. The best possible efficiency can be obtained from the cam, when the flank of the cam is kept tangential to the base surface, which gives snap opening and snap closing, without undue stresses on the operating mechanism of the cams. Especially in the case of the inlet and exhaust valves, the closing and opening should be fast enough to avoid the throttling effect which may be encountered during the opening and closing. Steeper the angle, the valve will open and close faster. 
how the amount of fuel delivered by a helical plunger fuel injection pump is controlled. The surface of the pump plunger has a helix cut on it. These helical grooves on the surface will be responsible for changing the effective delivery stroke of the plunger. The moment at which the helical groove connects the delivery side of the plunger with the suction side, there will be the end of injection. The position of the helical groove can be changed with respect to the fuel pump barrel suction hole by means of rotating the fuel pump plunger while it is moving up and down in vertical position. This movement of the plunger with respect to the pump barrel is due to the fuel pump rack, which is connected to the governor. Hence depending upon the load, the governor will change the position of the rack. Due to this, the fuel pump plunger will rotate and change the position of the helix with respect to the suction holes. Hence the quantity of fuel delivered will vary because of the change in the end of injection timing. For more details regarding fuel pumps, I have attached a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Good luck.